this week's Music Monday will have you defending the universe with TVXQ's Human Noise. What's this? TVXQ is in first place on our K-pop charts? And we're not in another country? Could this finally be a review for TVXQ? Or perhaps you'd rather watch 10 minutes of my cat with his head in the water. You'd kill us if we didn't give you a review of TVXQ after being unable to review Catch Me. We just wish we could have reviewed Catch Me, which had one of the coolest dances of the year, as well as one of the grossest abuses of milk that we have ever seen. But we're really quite happy with this song, which we liked more than Catch Me. Humanoids was actually quite simple in comparison to some of their other songs. Like, for example, Keep Your Head Down, which was very bombastic with the horns. And Catch Me, which was very, don't really know how to say this in any other way, but like, Japanese j pop -y sounding. This song, though, was more up our alley. We like the really clean beat with the quick computer-esque robot sounding synths in the background. And the chorus is really epic, perfect for one of those car chase scenes where a car goes over a ramp and then flies through the air in slow motion. Fast and the Furious 7, time for you to license this song. But on that note, this video was a huge letdown. It's not the dance parts that bother us. We've grown to accept that SM likes their bands to dance in weird rooms. It was the non-dance related parts of the video that we're disappointed by. It had so much freaking potential. Potential. It started out really cool with the weird gears and the grungy looking futuristic feel. Max walks around with like a glowing golden baby pizza cutter and looks confused while Yuno walks around in a business suit covered in tinfoil and rubs an old pocket watch. What time is it? You know that! Then he looks behind him to see like a giant game of futuristic Tetris being played. His watch then glows. Max's pizza cutter glows and then he gets transported to the same bizarre Tetris room as Yuno. Then they look at each other with the emotional range of a potato. Realize that they're holding weird ugly crap. Drop it and without saying a word, stare at the giant Tetris game and then teleport away with potato face. Really? What was the point of all those weird gear rooms and weird props? It's like they just started writing a plot and then they're just like, nah. It. They did the same thing in Super Junior Sexy Frame Single with that weird like CGI hexagon thing that like broke apart and then never made an appearance again. Listen, hey, hey, listen, hey, music video writers, drugs are so bad. Since TVXQ became a two member band, SM always wants to end their videos with either explosions or teleportations or exploding teleportations. But it's getting a bit silly here now. It's even getting to the point that TVXQ are bored with it. Because let me tell you something, if I was holding a weird glowing gear thing that transported me into some special special location with gear buildings and then my friend just randomly teleport right beside me, I'd be much more freaked out than you know and Max's reaction. What the? I don't remember having this. Ah! What the? Ah! Hush! Stop making that human noise, man animal. Oh my god! Okay! Where the f*** am I? And who are you and why are you wearing tinfoil? Hush! There's only one question to be asked, bad animal. Will you dance with me? Hold on to that thought. Okay, I gotta get this thing working. Oh my god, someone get me out of here. Someone get me out of here. Got it! I miss Max. But maybe they're just so famous and all BFF with EXO and their magic transportation abilities that nothing can impress them anymore. I imagine people with magical abilities are probably like the worst one-uppers you've ever met. Why well, hello, you know? Did you happen to hear by chance that I happen to get the new limited edition Lamborghini? It goes from zero to 60 in two seconds. Good for you, Alistair. I suppose that's a good car. Forgive me, I have no knowledge of cars since I can transport myself anywhere in the universe in a second and have no need for cars, but good for you. Well, that's all very nice and good, but did you happen to see my magic dog? You can rub its tummy and it gives you a wish and you can fly upon its back like Falcor or Appa. Well, that's nice. Well, have you seen my new leprechaun dog? He grants me wishes when I rub his tummy and I can fly on his back like Appa or Falcor. <laughs> Teleportation skills, Alistair. I can take anything that is yours. Remember that, ya bish. Come, tiny animals, fly me away. Hello! So besides the half-hearted attempt at a plot, the brunt of this video was really the dancing. Although Max and Nuno aren't our favorite dancers, we love, love the originality of the choreography. Max and Nuno work with their backup dancers like one great big clockwork unit. Most backup dancers are just like in the background flailing around, but TVXQ usually incorporate their backup dancers into the main parts of the dance. And the result is fantastic. I'm pretty sure I even recognize some of the dancers from past TVXQ videos, but correct me if I'm wrong, I could just be a backup dancer 
or racist. But one of the things I did notice with the dancing is that it is so dramatic. There's no like smiling or smirking. It's just really, really serious, which makes me think more and more that Max and you know are actually superheroes. And all these music videos are just fronts for their secret identities. Think about it. We've got fighting, we've got fire, magic transportation. <gasps> Wait, the same thing happened in Sailor Moon. The J-pop group called the Three Lights were just pretending to be pop stars as a way to cover up their secret identities as the Sailor Starlights. <gasps> except they transformed from being male into female when they became superheroes, but, you know. Did you hear that? Oh my god! Somebody needs our help! Quick, we have to transform! Max! You know time! PDS2! You know time! Max time. As for the English of the song, I'm giving this a three out of five. They've got some English phrases in there like this is the future and here we go baby. And everything is grammatically sound, but the chorus, the actual title of the song is mispronounced. Humanoids has a D in it. All I hear is human noise. And then they tell me to make some noise and I'm not sure if they're trying to say noids or noise. How do you make noids anyways? I'm confused. And for that, I give TVXQ a three out of five. Last week we asked you who's singing you preferred. The hunky ones in Love 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 or the snuggly ones in 60 seconds. And the clear winner of this showdown was the snuggly one. I'm very, 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 very surprised. Possibly because I'm really biased to the song Love Love Love. His voice is so great in the video, so sad, and the ball the dolls just burn on fire. For this week's time dance showdown, we ask you which clock dance you preferred. TV excuse human noise or you kisses tic tac. Both so clocky. Leave your votes in the comments and we'll announce the winners next week. Also, if you haven't seen from the 18 other videos we've posted over the course of last week, we've got the first annual Ichi Kimchi Awards going on right now. And all of the nominees have been announced so get voting if there's a video you want to see us do for next week's k-pop music monday could this be the first time that we review a secret song head on over to ichikimchi.com slash kpop charts and vote there lastly don't forget to like and favorite this video and to subscribe for more music mondays take it away in different spudgy